will serve one half of your sentence in country. Gonna see her country they work in the UK. See the judge with the sentence equated madu. Equated madu don't collect breakfast sentence from UK people, useless Nigerian politicians. And will be in light on license thereafter for the rest of the sentence. You can sit down. They're not a take bribe or not be Nigeria. Nigeria judiciary, I hope we go learn. Because we myself don't they myself don't use less like like Buhari government. You were also motivated by the desperate plight of your daughter and by maternal love. Further, in your case, I accept that although Sonia is an adult. You have substantial caring responsibilities towards her. Your incarceration will have a significant impact on her in that she will no longer be able to rely on your presence as a source of care and support. Mm. Having regard to those factors, I impose a sentence of four years and six months imprisonment. You have spent 234 days on an electronically monitored curfew between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m. Okay. I specify that the credit period for the purposes of Section 240A of the Criminal Justice Act 2003 is 117 days. So that period shall count towards your sentence. Mm. Subject to that, and subject to a our country they work Nigerian uh, uh, judiciary and see our country they work Nigerian politicians then be on license thereafter is less people in your case I adopt a starting point of six they don't take bribe there's do nothing not like bribe in the Western world solicitors they tell the you as the matter be with evidence that Nigeria won a wuru Nigeria politicians and their judiciary see the darkness. And the evidence does not show that you are directly involved in the attempts to identify a further donor after the transplant did not go ahead. I take account of all the mitigating features that Mr. Mahindru KC has identified and the content of the thorough and helpful pre sentence report prepared by Jessica Stephen of the Probation Service. You are a person of good character. You helped set up the ECOA Foundation with your husband. Mm. And you have been closely in There is a doctor given 10 years then serve and breakfast 10 years imprisonment. <laughs> I laugh. There are aggravating features in your case. Deliberately targeted a victim of history of illness. At young age, in isolation from the immediate family, in poverty. After the conspiracy was deployed to see who was tortured, sentence in custody and will be in light on license thereafter for the rest of the see Nigerian sentence. politicians you see them down. see our team wife Dr. Beers, Beers, they can't disgrace themselves for you can look them with its important charitable what did they tell you now repair Nigeria better than another year come I go cut up with all of them you. you were also motivated by the desperate plight of your daughter mm -hmm. and by maternal love mm -hmm. Further, in your case, I accept that although Sonia is an adult, you have substantial caring responsibilities towards her. Mm. Your incarceration will have a significant impact on her mm -hmm. in that she will no longer be able to rely on your presence mm. as a source of care and support. 
You will serve one half of your sentence in years custody. I do not consider that the aggravating factors that are present in the case of your co-defendants apply to you. You were not directly involved in the identification of the donor and the evidence does not show that you were directly involved in the attempts to identify a further donor after the transplant did not go ahead. Mm. I take account of all the mitigating features that Mr. Mahindru Casey isolation from his immediate family mm. and his poverty. After the conspiracy to exploit C was thwarted, you continued to try and find another person to be exploited mm. in the same way. As against that, you have no previous convictions and you were a person of good character. will serve one half of your sentence in custody.